Hello friends, this video on playing with numbers part 1 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Topics to be covered in this lesson are Introduction, Factors and Multiples, Prime and Composite Numbers, Divisibility Tests for Numbers, Common Factors and Multiples, Prime Factorization, Finding HCF that is Highest Common Factor, Finding LCM that is Least Common Multiple. Playing with numbers. So we are going to play around with numbers. Now let us start with an example, with a real life example rather. Let's say that your dad got home 15 beautiful pens. So he bought 15 pretty pens of different colors and he got them to your house. And now it is your responsibility. Let's say that this is you. So it is your responsibility to share these 15 pens equally amongst your brother and sister. So basically you are two brothers and one sister. So there are three of you and it is your duty to share those 15 pens equally amongst the three of you. So basically you want to divide the 15 pens into three equal parts. So you have 15 pens. Now can you tell me how many pens each one of you would get? Now it's pretty simple. So total you have 15 pens and you want to divide it into three equal parts. So 15 divided by 3. So basically when you divide 15 by 3, what do you get? You get 5. So that means each one of you will get 5 pens. Now let's say that a friend arrived to your house. Now, since your friend has arrived and you know, it, it does, it looks really rude if you do not give her a pen. So now you have to divide those 15 pens into four equal parts. So will in this case now, when you divide it into four equal parts, will you be able to divide the pens exactly into four equal parts? So basically now in this case, all that you will have to do is 15 divided by 4. Now when you divide 15 by 4, what do you get? You get a reminder. So 15 is not completely divisible by 4. So basically it is not possible to divide 15 pens into 4 equal parts. So some of you will have to take a lesser number of pens. Right? So what do we learn from this? Here we saw that 15 as a number is divisible by 3, but 15 is not divisible by 4, right? Now, here I have taken small numbers like 15, 3, 4. Now, when we encounter bigger numbers, that time it becomes all the more difficult to determine whether a particular number is divisible by another number or not. So here in this case, as you saw, that some, some numbers will be divisible only by certain numbers and not by all numbers, right? So this is one scenario where we see that uh, it is quite challenging to decide whether a particular number is divisible by a certain number or not. Let us look at another scenario. Let's say that you have participated in a rapid fire quiz. So you have participated in a quiz competition where there is a rapid fire round, let's say, where a question will be asked to you and you are supposed to answer instantly. Now let's say that uh, you have been asked that is 49,762 divisible by 4? Now this is a big number, right? Now how do you think that you will decide whether this number is divisible by 4 or not? So what you start, what you will have to do is you actually need to divide this number 49,762 by 4. So what do you get? It is 4 ones are 4 and then you get 4 to the 8 and then you have 4 for the 16. Then again you have... 4, 4 is a 16. Now, see, you have to do this much of division. You have to do the entire division to find out whether it is divisible by 4 or not. Now, in a rapid fire round, do you think you will have that much of time? No, because time is a very important criteria in a rapid fire round. You might be asked to answer this within a few seconds. Moreover, you do not have a pen and a paper so that you can actually do these division. 
So you just have a few seconds to answer this. So it becomes very difficult because such big numbers, sometimes the number might be even bigger than this. It might be a seven digit, eight digit number. So what do we do? It's difficult. So here in this lesson, we will learn all these techniques which will help us to decide very quickly whether a number is divisible by another number or not. Now in order to understand these divisibility rules, we will introduce certain new concepts like the concept of factors, the concept of multiples. So once you understand all these, then you will see that you can actually play around with numbers. You can actually see that with various numbers you can have some magical arrangement so we will talk about all that gradually as we move ahead with the lesson so here in this lesson our target is to learn tricks to answer such complicated questions quickly so we will play around with numbers so on the screen you see there are some complicated questions which I, I do not say that you cannot solve them, you definitely can, but you would need time to do these kind of big divisions to decide whether, whether such a big number, look at this number, such a huge number and somebody asks you whether it is an even number or odd number. So it, it's difficult to, I mean, you know, to tell these answers quickly, but that is our target in this lesson. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.